Hello and welcome to Emerald Azura in the Caribbean. We've spent a week on this stunning vessel sampling everything she has to offer and in our opinion she's made for these islands. Azura just looks so at home in these surroundings and we can't wait to show you in our full experience review. In the meantime, sit back and relax as we show you around this ship. So sleek and small, as you can see from her stats, she's much more of a super yacht than a cruise ship. And if you keep watching, you'll see why. Let's go! We're going to start where you entered the ship on Deck 3 at reception. If you're familiar with Emerald's fleet of river ships, you'll immediately recognise the style and decor echoes her smaller river sisters. Under the only main staircase that rises through the heart of the ship, you'll discover some electric bikes, which are free to use when the ports you visit are suitable for exploring on two wheels. Just sign up and off you go. To the sides of the bikes is a small onboard shop, which is open most days. Let's go forward now to the front of Deck 3 and the Amici Bar and Lounge. This is the main lounge area on the ship, and as Emerald Azura doesn't have a theatre, it also doubles up as an entertainment venue for visiting guests and the resident musician, who plays here every evening pre and post dinner. There's also a tea, coffee and water station in the corner which is stocked with fresh cookies daily, so come and help yourself. At the aft of Deck 3 is La Cucina, the dining room and terrace. It's a beautifully designed space with interiors of marble, soft furnishings and greenery. In the centre is a large square serving station with marble countertops of food which during breakfast and lunch is self-service and during the evening is used to prepare and serve the table serviced à la carte menu. The food is varied and features locally inspired dishes. For a ship with a capacity of only 100 guests, the galley here serves up some delicious options which can be tailor-made if you have specific dietary requirements. Outside, La Cucina Terrace offers al fresco dining with a sublime wake view. Having breakfast out here every morning before the heat of the day is just so lovely. We're going to quickly hop down to Deck 2 now, accessible by these stairs near the reception, to the wellness area featuring the Element Spa and Gym. The spa has a salon and a couple of massage rooms, as well as an interesting infrared sauna, which heats you, not the air around you, like a traditional sauna. The gym is small but pretty good for the size of ship, with a mixture of cardio and resistance equipment, and is open 24-7. Lastly on deck 2 and accessible via the rear of the La Cucina Terrace is the Marina. This is where you embark zodiacs and sometimes the tender, but I would guess mainly it's for playtime with an array of water sports such as kayaking, bodyboarding and if you fancy a bit of speed you can even take out a sea bob. Up to deck 4 now and right at the front of the ship is the observation lounge. It's quite a snug sized lounge which contains books, games, puzzles and another drink station. Outside there's a larger covered seating area and stretching before you is a large terrace which is used for complimentary morning yoga hosted by the wellness team and in the evening it's the outdoor venue for some brilliant local artists brought on board for a bit of cultural entertainment before dinner.
Something we find very useful is self-service laundry, and the setup here is very good indeed, and better equipped and more modern than most larger ships. Up to deck 5 and you'll discover the navigational bridge from which the captain and his team drive the ship. It's called an open bridge, which means you can pop in at any time the sign says open and observe the incredible job these people do and have a bit of a chat with the officers. It's a rarity these days and almost never available on larger ships, so the bridge here is a must visit. The team are very friendly too. At the rear of Deck 6 is the Aqua Pool and Aqua Cafe. The Aqua Cafe is open for light breakfast and the lunch menu includes a variety of flatbreads and burgers and a selection of desserts from the Chiller Cabinet. The Aqua Pool area is gorgeous with lots of lounges, double day beds and the pool is flanked by these huge soft lie flat spaces. The Infinity Pool faces the wake and gives the whole aft a super yacht feel. Perfect for those hot, lazy Caribbean days at sea. And from here you can see this. Isn't that just the most sleek and funky funnel and radar design you've ever seen? Right at the top and at the front of Deck 7 is our favourite area, the Sky Bar and Spa Pool. Like the Aqua Pool Deck, this area is full of lounges, soft spaces to sprawl on and is well shaded too. Oh, and it even features a bar and a huge and most photogenic spa pool I've ever relaxed in. We were very impressed with the amount of open deck space and how well it was designed for such a small ship. If relaxation was the designer's overriding remit, they've absolutely nailed it. Just look at those views. The interiors that connect all these spaces have an ultra-modern feel with lots of reflective walls of mirrors and chrome, just like the Emerald River Fleet. And I must mention the artwork, which for the size of ship is so interesting and expansive, Emerald has put a PDF guidebook together you can download and peruse as you discover each piece. There's lots of interesting paintings and sculptures here, and it's worth a wander around with the guidebook in hand. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and are interested in booking an Emerald yacht or river cruise, our preferred travel partner is Panache Cruises, the elite ocean, expedition, river and yacht style cruising specialists. The team at Panache has decades of combined knowledge and experience in finding the right cruise for you. Your personal cruise connoisseur will help you with every aspect of your voyage. No question too big, no detail too small. Visit their beautiful website and make your next dream cruise, like the one we took on Emerald Azura, a reality. Oh, and please don't forget to mention Visit With Us. We'd really appreciate that. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed our little insight to Emerald Azura. She really is as sleek and stylish as she looks in the promo pictures. And if you want to know more, please continue your Emerald Cruises journey by watching these next. Thank you.